Nicholas Puran, um, welcome to the Cricket World Cup. I'm sure you're delighted to fulfill one of your boyhood dreams to make a West Indies team one and then play in a Cricket World Cup. Yes, definitely. You know, very excited. Um, first World Cup. Um, you know, dream is always to play for West Indies you know, at a World Cup. You know, hopefully this year you know we could we could be successful. You know, as a team. You know, hopefully. At the end of the day, if we do the right things, we can be successful at it. Welcome, so we're definitely looking forward to it. And um, what, you know, what when you heard that you were selected, you know, to, to to come here to England to play in this tournament, you know, what what was the feeling like that that moment when you got the call and told you that you're in? Yeah, um, to be honest, I've worked hard over the last yeah last couple of years. Um, you know, my performance you know, spoke for itself. I wasn't I wasn't so I wasn't too surprised, but. You know, at the same time, I was really happy that you know, I was a part of the squad. Um, at the end of the day, for me, it was all about you know hard work. You know, at the end, it it brought me success, and you know I'm happy that I was selected. In the under-19s, you were an exciting talent. You made a hundred, nearly 150 in the under-19 World Cup. Everybody spoke about that, but then you had the injury, car accident, that put you back. Talk to us a little bit about the recovery from that injury and what it means, as you put it in perspective to today. Yeah, um, you know, that was a, a while ago. It was definitely a tough road for me, you know, especially uh, you know, recovery wise. You know, Oba was there. Um he's our first year here as well. He knew he knew what I went through, you know, every single day. You know, it was just frustrating at sometimes so stressful, you know. But the end they had one dream and that was to play cricket at the highest level, you know, I just never give up. And you know, thankfully, you know, because of Jesus, you know, I'm here today. Okay, and now to fulfill the dream now you must it must be, you know, a really, really um, you know, s superb thing to be, to be living that dream. Definitely, you know. Um, since coming back, you know, I had some trials, but happens in cricket. But I'm here now, and you know, lesson that I've learned. You know, whenever I'm playing cricket now, it's just to enjoy it. You know, I'm doing the hard work, so the most I can do is enjoy it, and you know, hope, hope to you know do the best I can do on the cricket field. You have Australia tomorrow, right here at the nursery ground here in. Southampton, a pretty good ground, but a pretty small ground. How, how are you viewing tomorrow's game? Oh, well, as a batsman, if the ground is small, we are very happy. You know, our team, I'm sure our team will be happy. And Australia is a really good team as well. So it's definitely going to be a good practice game for us. Mm. Tell us a little bit about yourself, because uh, you're one of the newer members of the team. And um, even though your name has been out there a long time, very few people really know you that well. Tell us a little bit about who's Nicholas Puran and what some of the things that he loves to do away from cricket. I'm um, simple. Um, as I just said, you know, I had one dream, which is about cricket. So you know, even outside of cricket, I would still find myself, you know, playing cricket. You know, I like to watch basketball, play football. You know, I like to go out, party, have a good time. You know, spend time with family, friends. So that's basically it. And I know you're very close to your Trinidadian brothers, um, Evan Lewis, Darren Bravo. There's so many guys that you hang up with. So tell us a little bit about them. What is it like, you know, being being part of a team, including some of those really cool guys? Yeah, it's very, you know. It's you know playing playing franchise cricket first of all you know being away from you know you know your your teammates back home you know that's very tough but you know you're playing for West Indies now you have your teammates here you know teammates from Trinidad as well you know it it makes the tour shorter and enjoyable and you know that's something we all miss and something we all love and it's just it's just that you know that that, that vibe that fr that friendship and that family vibe that we have. Okay. And um, as a young man, um, you'd have heard of some of the great names who won the Cricket World Cup for West Indies, who've done well in the Cricket World Cup. There's Clive Lloyd in 75, Viv Richards in 79, and Brian Lara setting records, you know, Chris Gale, your teammate, doing sensational things in Cricket World Cup. Um, do you think that someday you will be in that league? And how, do you, how, how would it feel to win this Cricket World Cup for the people of the West Indies? Um, to be honest, I would love to, I would love to, you know, do special things for West Indies cricket, um, you know. We have a really good bunch of guys now, um, a lot of young talent. You know, we are looking forward. We are definitely looking forward to the World Cup. You know, not just myself, but I know everyone else on the team is looking forward to a successful World Cup. You know, it's been a while that you know West Indies won the 50 over World Cup. Um, I can't say we're gonna win, but we are confident. I think once we're confident, anything can happen. Um, it would definitely mean a lot to the people back home because you know we have a lot of passionate fans. And they and they they really wanna. I know they're gonna get behind us and they're gonna support us. So we're gonna try our best and try to bring this home. Thanks. Yeah.